everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Chrisanne and today I will be doing a K-pop look from G Idol. So I already put on my foundation but you can use anything that matches your skin type or something you've already been using. And before anything else, we're going to be fixing our hair. Make sure that it is out of the way and make sure all your products are already laid out so this goes very smoothly. So I'll talk you guys through it and let's go! So I'll be putting on some lip balm just to moisturize my lips, then eyeshadow. So this eyeshadow is quite warm, but it's a very good base, but I suggest you use a cooler tone. So I'm using a eyeshadow brush to do this for me. I'll put it all over my lids, and then after that, I'm going to be spreading it out later on. But for people like me, if you have hooded lids, I suggest you put a lot of color and a blending brush later on will help spread the color upwards. So try to spread it around your fold to make sure the color is seen even if you open your eyes. You can blend as much as you want as long as the color disperses properly. forget to put on your lower area as well then I will be changing the color so I'm getting a lighter brown just for it to blend better on my skin so you know you blur those lines so that they look very seamless and they look very natural on your skin and that's what the blending brush does for me next up I'll be using an eyeshadow brush again and a darker brown I'll be putting this all over my lids because mini has a very sunken look and you can only achieve that with darker brown so I'll just spread it all over my lids as well as the under part of my eyes. There's no right or wrong here as long as you get the color you want. And because the brown isn't as dark as I want it to be, I'm adding more brown. So if you have a product that already does this for you the first time, you don't have to keep layering the color. But I really wanted to achieve that dark, dark look that she had. So I'm adding dark brown over here, all over my eyelids. It sort of reminds me of a Tim Burton-esque look. So that's what I was going for here. Don't worry if it spreads out the more messy it is actually the better it is because you can blend that out with a blending brush anyway. Because I wanted to achieve that darker look, I went with a black eyeshadow from this palette and an eyeshadow brush again and I just put it all over my eyelids. I wasn't happy with how the dark brown was turning out but it did create a very nice blended effect so the black is just to create more depth on my eye. This really reminds me of a Tim Burton movie. I don't know if I've said that already, but it really does. So I wanted to create a more creepy vibe, creepy look with the black eyeshadow. So don't worry if your eyeshadow is all over the place because your blending brush will blend it out for you. This will create a very blended, blurred, and seamless effect. And look at the eyes. Now they're sunken and creepy looking. So I could add more black later on, but this is okay for now. Now we're going to move on to the eyebrows. I'm using this eyebrow pencil because I'm wearing a wig, so this is in dark gray. But make sure to do your eyebrows very subtly and defined so I, I made it into a slightly straight eyebrow and now we're gonna move on to contour so I'm getting my other blending brush and I'm going to contour my face with this palette just use an ashy brown to define your nose under the lips your jawline as well then you can blur it further with a fluffy brush to create more shadows so your face looks more defined or if you want it will look smaller blend the hairline as well as do your cheekbones now comes the challenging part i'll be putting these words on my cheek with some liquid eyeliner i'll be doing this backwards so it's good to have a guide like what i did i wrote it on paper and i'm doing it in front of a mirror and i'm doing it writing it backwards in a mirrored version because when someone looks at me it has to be coming out the right way and the meaning of the words ab imo pectore it's actually latin it's from the song and it means sincerely or from the bottom of my heart 
and it looks really cool when Minnie wears it. So don't worry if your first run isn't perfect, you can go over again with a finer eyeliner. I'm using a pen type now and I just wanted to create more definition, more lines to make it look more detailed. And yeah, I like how it turned out. Before anything else, make sure to dry it properly. So now we're moving on to the lips. You can completely skip this step if you already have a deep purple lipstick on you, but I don't have that. So I'm just creating another option for people who want the same look but don't have a purple lipstick in their collection. So I'm using red and I'm just putting it as a base color. Then I'm gonna be using like a plum color. This is just to start adding blues to my lips. Make sure to use a lip brush when doing this because you want your lines to look good and perfect, as perfect as possible. Now I'm going to be adding more blue to create more depth and look at my purple lips. Ta-da! We're finished. Now let's get dressed. So this is the finished look. I got whatever I could in my wardrobe to make this look happen. I'm wearing a tube top, a black choker, and a wig that I use in cosplay. I also painted my hands black with face paint. You can use black acrylic paint for this. Then I braided my hair with strips of white cloth to style it very closely to how Minnie had it in the music video. So close up of the words ab imo pectore. I love how it turned out. I also added false eyelashes so my eyes would stand out more. And I love the overall look. It's very mysterious and it did go well with the vibe of the music video. So I'm quite surprised actually. Here is some earrings that I added for the final look. Let's check it out. that is it i hope you guys enjoyed leave a comment if you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial also if you have any requests don't forget to leave the word request and i may do a k-pop look for you guys if you like don't forget to like subscribe and click the click bell notification for updates goodbye guys